Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to share a prophetic word from a Global Awakening. Here it is right here. Global Awakening 2020. The old becomes new and the desert is renewed. It's from someone called J Joseph Cotton. That sounds good and um, I don't really like to read long form. <laughs> Especially in English. <laughs> no, I don't really. I'm not a good reader. I don't like to read this. But I can uh, do this. And uh, I have this uh, read out loud, uh, a text to speech voice reader. Let's try this if I fix it up. During our staff prayer time last week, I had a strong sense that God has plans for the year 2020. We know that God is always at work, but as Issachar in 1 Chronicles understood that there are times and seasons in how God builds His kingdom, so we still today see God working inside of time to advance His purposes. God showed me a mental picture, also known as a vision, of a field of dry, cracked soil. It was a lifeless desert I saw in my mind's eye, abandoned and left for dead. Then I saw God come with a plow, push it into the soil, and He began to turn the soil over. To my surprise, I saw rich dark soil underneath, and as He tilled the earth, this rich dark soil was turned to the top, and eventually the desert looked more like a well-tended garden, ready for seed to be planted. This is what I hear the Lord saying over the year 2020. Behold, I make all things new. Even the old things, the dead things, I make them new. In this coming year, I will be turning soil over in the neglected, abandoned places to make way for future growth. The desert will become a garden, even the desert seasons of life, these are destined to become your most fruitful places. Look to the places in your past and present where no fruit has been born, look to the places of death and decay where you have lost hope. These are the places to which I am coming with a plow to turn the soil over. I am coming to broken relationships, to nations that have been fallow, to marriages that have been fallow and lifeless. Watch as I, the sovereign gardener, come to the lifeless things, both literal and metaphorical, to turn the soil over. To bring turning which may seem confusing or upsetting, but which will reveal hidden soil which is rich, full of life, and ready to begin growing new life. The old molds will be shattered, for this is a new thing. Bitterness will keep you from seeing my work. Are you ready? Forgiveness is key in this coming season. Those who hold on to unforgiveness will miss out on what I'm doing in 2020. Do not be distracted by the noise of culture, nor by the falling away of many because I am at work. I call you to take a fresh look at nations that are closed, cities that seem barren, internal heart places of pain, loss, disappointment, misunderstanding. Take a fresh look and welcome me into those places. Release words of forgiveness. Sanctify your heart and allow me to till the soil. My promise is this, in every place, I am at work. I will turn all things around for your good, and I will sovereignly reveal life and health. The soil needed to rest in the past, and many have looked at places lying fallow and labeled it desert, but I am coming to churn, to till the soil. Your part is to see it and embrace it. I get a clear picture from God that 2020 will not be the year of reaping the fruit from these fields. 2020 is the year of preparation. I see Him planting new seeds in 2021 which will then groan and bear fruit in the future. This is not a word saying that all your dreams will come true in 2020. Rather, this is a word saying that 2020 will be messy. It will be confusing at times, but what's happening is God reframing the dead, dry, forgotten places, literal and metaphorical, into places where life will appear. Think of how a farmer will come with a tiller and turn soil over in a field. That's 2020. After that comes planting, then growth, that will seem unexpected, then fruitfulness, then harvest. Trust the great gardener. But wait there's more. I also get a sense that there will be an increase in prophetic activity in 2020. Look for more words to come forth, and take time to pay attention. B. But rather take time to test the spirit behind it. If you've never seen yourself as prophetically gifted, now is the time to ask the Holy Spirit to give you the gift of prophecy, and remember that Paul said, you can all prophesy. The spirit will be in the business of peacemaking in 2020 in a way which will be more visible than it's been in the past. We all know that Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, but I think that there will be new and creative ways in which God pushes for peace on his earth in the coming year. Be prepared for this, as it will come as a surprise to many. Examine your heart for any place in which empire building or an allegiance to any other kingdom has crept in, remember we serve one king who has an invisible, non-earthly kingdom. 
I see situations arising which will seem negative and harmful at the outset, but which are in fact creative solutions dreamt up by God which will bring forth peace down the road. Don't let your heart be hardened in 2020. Look for the kingdom middle of issues. Cooperate with the Spirit in being a peacemaker and in praying for peace to come on earth as it is in heaven. God is raising up a people of indomitable hope. This past season of waiting, of frustration, of longing, God will turn it around for our good. He has been at work in it, raising up a people of unstoppable hope. Hope is like fuel for the fire of faith, and is one of the three enduring things, faith, hope, and love. Now is the time to ask the Holy Spirit for a fresh influx of hope in your heart to prepare you for a fresh perspective. Allow God to reframe your taste and prevent disappointment. He is making you into a person of hope, even unreasonable hope. Lastly, I keep having this sense in my heart that the old things are becoming the new things, there's something about 2020 that will see old things renewed so that they are now the new thing upon which God is breathing. I believe there's something stirring in the worship movement that will see God putting a fresh anointing on the old things. I'm not sure about the details of this, but I am confident that it's a phrase we'll all find ourselves saying in 2020. Action points any time you hear a prophetic word, it must be judged. Methods for judgment include the full testimony of Scripture, does the word align with God, as revealed in the Bible, the testimony of the Holy Spirit within you, do I feel faith about this word? Even if it's bad news, do I have an inner sense of yes, from God, and of course are said in Revelation, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Therefore, does the word sound like Jesus? Like a husband with his bride, like a shepherd with his sheep, like the head of the church universal speaking to his people? After judging if you think the word is from God, spend time asking the Holy Spirit what you're supposed to do with it. All prophetic words are conditional, or at least have conditional elements to them. Your response to God's prompting will in part determine what role you play in the word's fulfillment, or lack thereof. Perhaps you're simply supposed to pray, Lord, have your way, and put the word on a metaphorical shelf. Perhaps you're supposed to print it out and make declarations every day. Perhaps you should take it to your pastors or leaders and have them judge it. For sure, if you feel a witness that this word is for you, you should take action. Print it out, pray into it, remind yourself of how it applies to you and pray in faith that God is at work. The Holy Spirit will show you what to do, remember, it's the Spirit who leads us into all truth. The Spirit grows us and shows us how to live, so trust in God's guidance in this. Look back at your own past, what prophetic words have been spoken over you which are unfulfilled? What dreams have you had which have died? What places or people have you written off? Watch out for those places, people, dreams, and words becoming the sudden source of life in 2020 and beyond. Comment below and let everyone know what you hear God saying over 2020. So that was uh, a great word. Um, you know, pray over it. And... Um, Know, ask uh, the Holy Spirit, as He said, what you are going to do with it. Just put it on the shelf, and uh, you know, uh, let it be done, Lord, according to Your will. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. I also want to show you. Uh, um, I get this uh, daily prophetic words. Let's see here. I save it. Daily prophetic and today's daily prophetic was very good. Here we go. Here's daily prophetic word for October 22nd, 2019. And and uh, forward, you know, from this day. From this day on. This is a time of greater levels of favor, promotion and advancement from here on. Blessings, Doug Addison. That's amazing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to show you something else. I uh, took a step of faith yesterday. I um, paid for and ordered. Um, to attend the Jesus 19 event in December. Uh, it's on 29th of December until the 1st of January. And I, it came out to be like 
that's a lot of money for me. <laughs> I'm uh, living under the government, and I have no idea how I'm going to be able to get there. You know, with I can't afford the plane ride or the hotel. I looked up what it will cost for me to the plane back and forth and um, the hotel for those days, a closed hotel. I don't remember. I, I've shared it before under other videos and on my community tab there. But it came out to 19,400 or something Norwegian kroners. And with a little bit of spending money, I I need about 2,500 US dollars. And I uh, pray that, I believe that God will um, help me uh, with with that. And of course, he uh, uses uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. He talks to people who and tell them to donate to that, uh, donate to my son, Tracy, you know. And if you hear that, that you should donate to me, I need 100 people to donate $25, basically. Uh, and uh, if you hear that you are supposed to do that, uh, it doesn't matter if, if you can't give $25, you know, everything else back, $5, $10 or more, you know, whatever you God is telling you to donate, basically. Uh, you can do that by going to paypal.me forward slash Tracy Tressmark. I will leave a link. And uh, yeah, let, let's just show you. I, uh, I recommend everyone who has a chance to go there to attend this. Jesus 19, December 29th to January 1st. And you just go here and you can see, let's see, uh, you can watch a little video there. And these are the speakers who will be there. All solid, solid men of God. Michael Julianos is the one who, and Jessica Julianos are the one who wants to put this on. Uh, they are from Jesus Image. And then uh, Stephanie Gretzinger. Awesome worship leader, awesome, awesome, from Battle Music. Daniel Kalanda, of course. Benny Hinn, a great father in the faith. In the, yeah. And uh, Rodney Howard Brown, awesome, awesome. I have been listening to him at his uh, River River Church. Yeah, you just uh, go on Google and uh, his uh, channel is just his name, Rodney Howard Brown. He's awesome. Pastor Lou Engel, of course, Jeremy Riddle, also from um, originally from Battle Music, also much clear. Randy Clark, he is the greatest, he has the greatest healing ministry in the world, and he has uh, imparted, uh, you know, he started uh, the, um, the outpouring of uh, in. Um, in uh, Catch the Fire, you know, in, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I don't know who this uh, Jonathan and Melissa Helser is, but uh, probably great. Brother Yun, I don't know who he is. Todd White is awesome. Nate Morris is awesome. Claudio Fridsen, he, yeah, he's great. Very anointed. Ben Fitzgerald's, yeah. It's a lot of great. And Jesus Image Worship. And that, that worship is there, I don't know her name. Oh, she's so good. Such a good uh, worship leader. But anyway, what you do is go here, register now. They are expecting more than 10,000 people. And, I, so, and the, the evening, yeah, the evening um, sessions are free. It says here. Um, uh, 
I just felt I saw here that evening session is over here. I think there are no refunds though, so um, be sure. <laughs> I think it like this: if I if I cannot be able to go there, then this eighty six dollars is a donation. <laughs> But I will, I will, in Jesus' name, I will be able to go there. It's awesome. I opened this before here. So I hope you like this uh, little uh, sharing here. Um, that's it for now. <laughs> uh, I don't know when the next uh, Holy Ghost Hangout will be, uh, maybe tonight, um, like around uh, midnight my time in Central European time, midnight, 1am maybe. I was up like, yeah, 1pm today, so yeah, so midnight will be uh, good, good today. It's before this I was up way too early, I have this non-24 the time I'm sleeping the eight hours seven six eight hours I sleeping always moves around so but now now and moving forward like uh, a week from now I don't know this during this <laughs> next week or two I will be uh, awake at uh, around midnight uh, so I can uh, do some live streams I will do that okay uh, until then, God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye then. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, I was praying this morning before I got out of bed. Uh, you know, my regular prayer, and uh, I was praying in tongues for a while. And then I suddenly got this uh, song in my head. And that is usually how, well, usually, that is one way. Um, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. It's true, reminding, me, giving me songs in my head, to tell me something. And this uh, song I had never heard, giving me this song before, but it was uh, a song of uh, Roy Orbison. It goes like, "Everything you want, you got it. Everything you need, you got it. Anything at all." You got it, baby. <laughs> so that's that's a good good sign <laughs> for me. And he gave, gave me that song. So everything I want, I, I will get it. And so everything I need, I will get it. Anything at all, I will get it. So that's that's amazing. <laughs> so hallelujah, you know, 2010 to a, and from this day forward, and that was before I. Obviously, before before I woke up and put on, put my computer on and watched uh, that the prophetic word from dog and so it's amazing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I pray for everyone who will be watching this. Let that be a reality for everyone else as well. Everything you want, everything you need, anything at all. If you ask it in Jesus' name, God will give it to you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bam. Take it. <laughs> all right. I just wanted to say that. God bless you all. Bye-bye then.